motor party's over. Get your, get your chicken hands out of here. Come on. Move it, hood rat. Come on, get your hands out of here. Bust leaves at 11. Take this shit with you. Call me. When it was first announced that there would be a sequel to 1995's Friday, fans rejoiced seeing many of their favorite characters together again. Next Friday continues the narrative of the first film with the introduction of a new setting and plenty of new characters. We wouldn't see crowd favorites like Smokey or Big Worm, but we were introduced to Day Day, Uncle Elroy, Pinky, and Suga to help extend the Friday universe. Along with these characters who were memorable, it was the movie's villains who stole the show, the Joker Brothers. The Joker Brothers lived next door to Day Day and were a trio of hardened drug dealing criminals that terrorized Carla and her mother by bringing crime to their home in the neighborhood. The characters were portrayed as intimidating with comedic undertones, especially when it came to their dog Chico, who was actually portrayed by two separate dogs, both named Chico. Separately, the characters were credited as Joker, played by Jacob Vargas, Lil Joker played by Lobo Sebastian, and Baby Joker played by Rolando Molina. Although the characters on screen had great chemistry on set, Molina said that they met on set and that they formed an incredible bond there. The thing about me, Jacob, and Lobo, you know, all three of us, we really, really bonded on the set of Next Friday, and it could be months, even years that we haven't seen each other. But when we run into each other, it's like we just seen each other yesterday, you know? That's the kind of love and respect that we have for each other. This organic chemistry shined on screen and allowed the group to create iconic moments from what was actually quite a bit of ad-libbing and improvisation, which is why the Joker brothers will always remain unforgotten. Baby Joker was played by Rolando Molina, born in El Salvador, Molina migrated to the United States at a young age and broke into the industry after working as a security guard at Universal Studios. He was discovered by actor, producer, and director Edward James Olmos and debuted in the 1992 film American Me. Molina resides in Los Angeles, consistently working as an actor in numerous TV series. Molina's resume includes Menace to Society, episodes of Living Single and The Wayans Bros, reoccurring characters on ER and General Hospital, My Wife and Kids, and many more. In a 2021 interview, Molina revealed that he auditioned for the role of Hector in the first Friday film. The same day, Molina auditioned for a guest starring role in Living Single. Molina booked the role in Living Single and after he signed his contract, he was told he booked the role of Hector in Friday as well. However, due to his commitment with Living Single, he was unable to accept the part in Friday. In that same interview, Molina spoke on his experience working with John Witherspoon and the great time they had improvising each other. Molina was also asked if he would reprise his role if another Friday was to be made. He replied with a flat out no, due to the fact that four of the original cast from both Friday and Next Friday had passed away. Bernie Mac, John Witherspoon, Tommy Lister Jr., and Justin Pierce. Molina does not seem to have a partner or child, but does have one younger brother. Lobo Sebastian got his start in the industry in the mid-90s, consistently appearing in television and film since his debut in 1994's No Ordinary Love. In 2000, he was cast as Lil Joker in Next Friday and has gone on to lend his talents in a variety of production, whether it be a guest starring role on the TV series or a supporting role in a movie. It appears that Sebastian doesn't limit himself when it comes to genre either, equally appearing in both comedy and drama. Lil Joker, played by Lobo Sebastian, has been the most elusive of the three, not appearing in interviews or on social media. He has been described by Rolando Molina as introverted and heavily dedicated to his craft of acting. Lobo is an introvert, he keeps to himself, he's very selective as far as the work he does, but believe it or not, you have seen his work. He still works to this day. The thing about Lobo is that he's such a chameleon. He doesn't look like the same in anything he does. He switches it up one way or another. There was a movie he did after Next Friday with Jacob called Road Dogs. In Road Dogs, he literally shaved his eyebrows and had some tattoos put on. Not real tattoos, but he is dedicated. As previously stated, Sebastian has done a phenomenal job of disappearing until it's time to get work done with no interviews or online presence to speak of. ER, 24, CSI, The Longest Yard, Curb Your Enthusiasm, Reno 911, and a guest spot on the short-lived Rush Hour TV show are all on Sebastian's resume. <laughs> Go flea biscuit. Go flea biscuit. I thought you were gonna take me to see mommy. Uh, as you can see, I'm a little preoccupied right now. I'll take you later. When? After you're all drunk and loaded? I thought I'd take your stupid ass later, all right? Joker, often confused as Baby Joker due to his shorter stature, was played by Mexican actor Jacob Vargas. Vargas was born in Michoacan, Mexico, but moved to Los Angeles by the time he was one, one and a half. He got his start in the business at a very young age by breakdancing with his friends from the neighborhood. Vargas was discovered in a schoolyard by a talent manager. This led to his first job in the industry on different strokes as a breakdancer. 
Before his role as Joker, Vargas made an impact playing Selena's older brother, A.B. Quintanilla, in the 1997 biopic Selena. Vargas has stated that Joker is one of the roles he gets recognized most for. Vargas has expressed his gratitude for the role of Joker. It's a blessing, man. Some of the characters I played have become a part of pop culture. Vargas has spoken on his approach to the character. One day I'm going to post the original script because none of that was written. He wasn't written funny. He was written as a basic scary neighborhood dude, but I thought, I love the first Friday. I remember how funny it was. This guy should just let loose and be crazy, man. Just have zero filter. Lucky when I went into the audition, I went into audition and just went crazy. And luckily, the director, Steve Carl, was like, you were one of the only dudes that came in and made him funny. In a separate 2019 interview with the radio station 97.1, Vargas was asked about his involvement in the potential Last Friday film. At the time, Vargas said the last time he spoke to Ice Cube was at the Straight Out of Compton movie premiere, where there were discussions of Vargas being a part of the next installment. Vargas is ready to film if he ever gets that call from Cube. Vargas, much like his co-stars, has worked steadily since next Friday, appearing in a variety of TV and film projects, including Sons of Anarchy and Luke Cage. Most notably, Gabriel Fluffy Iglesias' show, Mr. Iglesias on Netflix as Tony Ochoa, best friend of the show's star. The Joker Brothers became pop cultural figures that have influenced that stretches until today. They've inspired costumes, impressions, and even rap lyrics. Quavo from the Migos borrowed Jacob Vargas' line, Count My Green or Get In Between, for the chorus of Thick and Pretty off the 2007 Quality Control mixtape. Jacob Vargas, Rolando Molina, and Lobo Sebastian showed their talent 20 years ago when they brought the Joker Brothers to life and their talent still carries them through to the present day and that's why they'll always be unforgotten. Stay up to date with the latest news and comedy by subscribing here to our YouTube channel, follow Comedy Hype across all social media, and look forward for our new streaming service where we'll debut original content on ComedyHype.com. For Comedy Hype News, I'm Elena Williams.